Hello everyone, this is Hazem Khalaf from katiatutorials.blogspot.com Today I'm going to make an L-shaped plate I'm going to make it using generative sheet metal design I will call it here L-plate Actually first of all you need to define the parameters of your sheet design I prefer it to have a thickness of 2 mm which is the thickness of the sheet and the radius will be 2 mm as well <coughs> then we will go here and we'll say ok then we will choose the, the ZX plane <coughs> then we will go sketch and we will go to the rectangle we will choose the center currently I am creating the base of the L shape which is the smaller one and then we will create the taller one let's double click this one the, dim the, the dimension we will choose this and then we will choose this this one is going to be 7 millimeter and this one is going to be 26 millimeter let's zoom in a little bit so that we can see things better ok now I will exit I am done with the base I will go to the wall create a wall and I will choose ok now I will create the L plate I will choose this edge and then I will create a wall actually this wall will have a distance from here till here of 24 millimeter and then I will say okay now I, I will apply two holes here at this base so I will go and choose I want to, to draw simple two holes one will be here let's dimension this one will have a dimension of 4.5 ok the distance from the center of the circle till the V vector it will be uh, or the V axis here it is Z axis actually it will be uh, 13.5 divided 7.57 point it will be 7.25 so we will type 7.25 now we will mirror we will choose the mirror option in order to create the other hole through using the V axis now I'm done we will go outside the sketcher and I will go to this option the cutout definition we will choose preview ok now I am done with the two holes ok it looks ok Now I will do here also some cutouts. I will first select the face on which I'm going to do the cutout and then I will go sketch. I will draw a line, one line from here. And another line here. Okay. 
Now I will make some constraints for this line. I will choose this point to be coincident with this point through the offset through the constraint rules. I will choose it to be coincident. Okay. The same applies here. I will choose this point and this point to be also coincident. Now I will choose this line and this line as well to have an angle. This angle is going to be 160. Uh, I'm sorry, let's make it 170. And this angle here, it will be let's make it 20, 20 degree. Okay, um, I will also make this point and this through and this point to be coincident with each other. So I will choose points and I want the height between this point and this line which is the base to be 14.25 millimeter 14.25 millimeter now I will draw like a temporary line to help me draw a circle this circle will be tangent to both of these lines this one which which actually got automatically snapped to the line through tangency constraint and I will choose this line to have also a tangency constraint with the circle and I will go to the circle and I'll choose dimension. The diameter of this circle is going to be 7 millimeter. I'll draw a line here. This line is going to be... Actually, as you can see, I am, I'm going up and down until I get a blue line this blue line means I'm going on the horizontal axis which is parallel to the base so I will make the length of this one uh oh there seems here to be a over constraint problem over constraint problem okay uh, um let's delete this one until now let's just delete it uh, this one here is 14.25 ok and this one is 8 I just want to make, to, to make it 8 ok here there seems to be a coincidence that I didn't really mean so I will delete it and now I'm going to make my rule now it is okay you cannot over constrain your 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 dimensions you know this is what I did by by coincidence in the last time so I will choose here 8 and then I'll draw a line from this point which will be a tangent to this circle. I will go double click the trim tool. I will trim these edges here around. Oops. Control Z, Control Z. I will go trim this one. Okay. 
now I will go and close my shape through drawing the outer three lines I'll draw another line here now I'm done I will exit sketcher I'll choose the cut out option type up to next which means up to the next surface I will go choose OK et voila now I have my shaped L shaped plate but I still need to apply two holes here so I will go use the hole tool I'll choose the surface yes the diameter of the hole will be 3 it will not be blind will be up to next the positioning will be like here I want one I will choose this point while clicking on control key I'll go and choose this arc I go to the constraint definition and I will say that they will be concentric with each other and that's it I'll go outside and I'll choose OK OK I will also I will also make another hole but this hole will be here also it will have a 3 millimeter diameter and up to next but for the positioning you will go posi positioning I will choose um, okay to make positioning good first you need to make uh, like helping lines I will make also another line and then I will make a constraint between this line and this old circle uh. okay Uh, seemingly I will delete these two lines now I will I will first I'm going to create a point okay this point will be here at the center of this circle so first I make a constraint relation between this point and this circle to be concentric and then I will build construction lines along this point one here and another one here vertical and horizontal then I will choose the, the dimension tool to be between I will choose the dimension tool Oops, what's going on? I will choose this point and this line here. This is going to be 5.25 millimeter, and this one is going to be 9 millimeter, and then we will exit this one and OK and that's it I'm done but before I'm done you know rendering and shape how about uh, this color or just make it green or 
let's make it green I don't like this green let's make it orange it's okay thank you so much this was Hazem Khalaf from Katia to